All right, um, it's getting dark, so I don't know how well this video is gonna turn out, but I am gonna try to work a passive RS-44. Starts in the north, which is that way, and ends in the south, which is that way, and passes directly overhead, which is that way. And um, that, I'm just trying to capture a video of how, how I use this setup. And it should be, should be a good pass. So hopefully the light holds out long enough to make it CQ Satellite, Alpha Lima 7, India Delta, Alpha Lima 7, India Delta, Bravo Papa 6-4. I think I hear somebody in there, but you're too far down in the weeds yet. Keep trying. November Charlie Zero Quebec. QSL Bravo Papa 64 Fairbanks Alaska. My name is John. Go ahead. Good. What's your name and where are you located? Okay, sorry. Uh, this is Tim Tango, India Mike. Tim, and we're in uh, Springfield, Nebraska. Springfield, Nebraska. Over. I got Nebraska, but I missed the name of the city. Uh, a little bit. I think maybe I'm taking a fade. I'm having a little trouble hearing myself, too. But if, you're, if it's just coming up for you, we'll hang in there a minute. I've got eight more minutes yet. Yeah, Roger. Well, it's, uh, so I can tell you're there, but I can't understand what you're saying yet. I can just barely hear myself. If you don't mind hanging in there, I'd like to chat with you. Maybe it'll come up a little bit. Uh, AL7ID from NC0Q. I'm using the 
the stat box uh, for Doppler control. Uh, just an Armstrong rotator. Go ahead. Okay, very good, Tim. Hello, N6 OPP. N6 OPP, stand by. NC0Q, all right, Tim. Yeah, I also have a 9700 in the SAT controller. Uh, I have the Yezu rotator and uh, some M squared uh, LEO pack antennas on a mass. So, great. Well, I hope to work you again. Uh, NC0Q from Alpha Lima 7, India Delta. 73, Tim. Yeah, uh, I think you said your name was uh, uh, AL7ID from NC0Q. Yeah, thanks for the Q cell uh, in, in the tuner upper portion of the transponder. Hope to meet you again. 73 for now. AL7ID, you'll be Is the frequency in use? NC0Q wants to know. Uh, is the frequency in use? NC0Q is asking. All right, uh, calling CQ. Hello, CQ. CQ Satellite, this is November Charlie Zero Quebec. November Charlie Zero Quebec, NC0Q, calling CQ from Echo November 11 and listening. Calling CQ Sat, hello, CQ Sat. This is November Charlie Zero Quebec and C Zero Q calling CQ Sat and listening. Well, Tim, it seems like everywhere you go, there's somebody trying to find themselves. Hey, I've been that guy. I, I just know it. But, you know, I, <laughs> I can't complain. I guess W Zero C Y C from N C Zero Q. Yeah, I was sitting there listening to you and John up there in Alaska, and I was, uh, you know, kind of listening in and all that, just kind of enjoying your QSO for a change, and uh, all those guys just started coming in right on the top of you there, and then, uh, wouldn't you know, here you are here, and another one doing the same. Yeah, uh, hopefully they'll find themselves. I, I've, I've learned not to even start trying to see if I can find myself until I can see and hear other signals pretty strong, especially on this bird. Yeah, for sure. That's definitely a best practice. And uh, I also like to go, you know, like all the way up to the top of the pass band, to just, you know, just kind of test it out up there until I could find myself and get the writ dialed in, stuff like that. You know, I, I never understood just trying to find yourself right on the dead center. Okay, that, that's the other thing that kind of came naturally to me is like, well, I'll, I'll, exactly, yeah, that, that, that seems to make the most sense. But I don't know, you know, what other kinds of equipment is out there, like if, if I had a pair of those uh, Yesu QRP rigs, if that would be more complicated but, or not. Yeah, I imagine it is a heck of a lot more. I remember, you know, whenever I first got into the linears and I had that 820 with, uh, you know, no scope on it or anything, it was definitely difficult, especially when I couldn't get the SAT controller to work because I was having to flip back and forth and adjust the receive and the transmit, and, man, it was a heck of a big problem. Yeah, the, the SAT box is really, I don't know, I, I, I'm, I guess I'm a 21st century baby when it comes to working satellites because I've basically never done it without one, except for the FM birds. Uh, I think my first and only linear QSO without a SAT box was with uh, Kurt N0GVK, and uh, I mentioned that I, I was uh, the skunk on the satellite party because <clears throat> I didn't have Doppler control, and then we met at the North Bend Hand fest like four days later and he sold me one of his extra ones ah, no kidding that's awesome yeah kurt runs an old i uh ica 20 also and he, he does really good with it um i had no problems with mine once i figured out all the settings and was able to get the uh set controller to work with it but i tell you what those first couple weeks man it was heck yeah roger um yeah, anyway, oh, I'm trying to, I'm spinning for the, this is a directly overhead pass for me, so I, I did the, did the, uh, yeah, turned myself around again. Anyway, uh, <laughs> I'm trying to capture this on video just so I could, nobody understands my setup. I try to describe it, and um, it's pretty simple, but uh, uh, anyway, it's a very unprofessional video, but uh, it at least shows how it works. It, it's pretty slick. It takes me about five minutes to set it all up, and then it's all hanging on a speaker tripod, so all I have to do is stand here and... Uh, 
you know, I can turn the radio and the antenna at the same time, if that makes any sense. Yeah, that's an awesome portable setup that you're using there with that. Uh, I'm, I'm highly impressed with the way that you run that. And I was actually, it's funny that you say that, because I was going to ask if you were going to try to start doing some videos again. Uh, I kind of miss these guys that were affordable. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> anyway. Sleepo uh, Whiskey. Uh, station ending in Whiskey, uh, were you calling CQ or are you trying to get a hold of W0CYC or NC0Q? Go ahead. Uh, I'm, I'm really sorry, you're coming in like one of the adult uh, characters in a Peanuts show right now. Could, could you try again? Yeah, I'm new to this, so I apologize. Hopefully that's better. Oh, yeah, that's great. And uh, forgive my sarcasm. I, I'm just using that for humor. Uh, go ahead with your call sign, please. Sure. Kilo, Charlie, A. Julia, Lima Whiskey. This is the first time that I've actually worked a linear satellite. We're EN61. EN61. Yeah, you're doing great, man. Um, stand by. I'm pass the mic over to uh, Robert down in Missouri. Uh, my name is Tim, Tango India Mike, and we're at Grid Square is Echo November 1-1 up here in Springfield, Nebraska. Uh, stand by. Hey, Rob, take the mic. Hey, Jerry. Nice to meet you. Kilo Charlie A. Juliet Lima Whiskey Whiskey Zero Charlie Yankee Charlie Rob in St. Louis. I'm just west there in Echo Mike 48. You're sounding good on the pass. Congratulations on your first linear. Uh, thank you much. Uh, it's very different than working FM satellites. In fact, uh, you have to apologize. Let me apologize why I try and figure this out. I'm not quite used to it, but I'm actually kind of excited that I was able to at least work this pass. Yeah, absolutely. You're drifting around a little bit. Um, I, I don't know if you're using uh, just manual control there, but you're, I mean, you're really, really close to us. Okay, well, I think I got it dialed in now. I'm not going to touch anything, and I'm going to actually let the equipment do it. So if I have one of the uh, SAT controllers, and I just recently switched her searches in ICOM 7800. I used to do satellites about 20 years ago, but nothing on this level. Go ahead, Mike. Yeah, QSL, you're, you're sounding good. Um, yeah, that's what we're both running here as the uh, SAC controller, but we're on 9700s instead. But, uh, well, welcome back, and uh, glad to hear on the uh, the birds here on the linears. Go ahead, Tim. Yeah, cool. Yeah, man, you're doing a great job. Uh, I, I really, I, the, the, the sat box, like Rob and I were talking about a little bit ago, it's like the missing piece of the puzzle. Very, I, I, I uh, what's the word? Um, I was uh, naive when I bought the 9700. I thought it had the sat box capabilities built in. And it's doable uh, manual control once you find yourself in downlink, but chasing yourself on Doppler, is, is, that's not fun. So anyway, um, back to you, KC8JLW from NC0Q in the group. Go ahead. Okay, yeah. Um, I think I might have mentioned it wrong, but yeah, I'm also running the 9700 here. I love the radio. Uh, I used to do this 20 years ago with an arrow antenna and an HT, so this is like a whole new thing for me. Uh, not sure to hit yet. Next, I guess it's my TCHLW. Well, we are both uh, Arrow 2 fans here. Uh, Tim is actually using an Arrow 2 right now outside with his 9700, and I use an Arrow whenever I'm doing portable stuff. Yeah, mine's actually a rip-off of an Arrow 2, but uh, it's on a PVC boom, and it's made out of uh, five, uh, um, aluminum rod that I robbed out of a scrap pile uh, because I'm cheap. But uh, an Arrow 2 would be better because you can actually take the thing apart and roll it up in a neat little bag. This thing takes up the entire trunk in the car. Go ahead, uh, uh, KC8JLW. Uh, station calling CQ, station calling CQ, the frequency is used, please move up just a little bit. Station calling CQ, frequency is in use, please move up. Uh, KC8JLW, go ahead again, sorry about that, W0CYC. Okay. 
Okay, Jerry. Good to hear from you. And uh, if you uh, if you want to see some uh, some more action with these things, uh, both Tim and I have uh, some little YouTube channels. So we got a whole bunch of stuff from these 9700s and using the SAC controllers and stuff. If you just search out either one of our call signs on YouTube, you can find it. And uh, welcome to the fray, my friend. Good to hear you. KCHJLW73 W0CYC. Go ahead, Tim. Yeah, seven three uh, KC eight JLW from NC zero Q. We'll uh, we'll get you in the log and upload it to LOTW, and then I'll figure out I've got the time and the date wrong, and I'll upload it again. Uh, back to you, Rob. Uh, you got that same problem too, huh? I tell you what. Um, Every time I go and do like a rove or something, I'll enter all the contacts into QRZ. I will put the correct grid square into it for where I'm at, and it never fails. Every single time that I transfer it from QRZ over to LOTW, it somehow changes it to my home grid square. No matter what I do, I will create a new profile, a new key, a new everything on LOTW, and that stupid thing will change it to Echo Mike 48 every time, and I have to put those contacts in four times. Oh man, I'm just, my problem is I'm an airhead and I will go over everything four or five times before I hit upload and I'll, I, I, when I use that logging feature with the Satbox web browser, it goes perfect, but half the time I'm either scribbling it down on paper or transcribing it from the tape and I get something wrong and my, I'll wait three or four days, I won't get any QSLs and that's when I realize I messed something up. So I've got like, oh, I don't know, twice as many QSOs as QSLs and all the, mo, mo, that's because half my uploads are mistakes. It's ridiculous. Hey, I know that feeling too. I'm uh, obviously a, a young old school guy and I always did uh, paper logs up until just about three years ago. And uh, I never saved any of them or anything. I lost a bunch of them and all that. But yeah, I'm the same way. I'll, I'll figure something out a couple days later and be like, ah, I messed that one up. I got to redo it. Yeah, it screws with my OCD. I, I hate having all those erroneous QSOs up on LOTW. I wish I could erase them, but I understand why I can't. All right, well, W0CYC, I think I'm losing the bird, so I'll, uh, I'll let you uh, work some DX, and I'll just kind of stand by and listen. 7-3 uh, for now. Thanks for chatting with me. Uh, W0CYC from NZ0Q. 7-3, man. All right, Tim, good to hear you again, as always, and I'll, I'll catch you on another pass. These uh, southern passes are really hard for me because I'm just pointing straight into the trees, so I'm probably going to bail myself. It's uh, a pleasure, as always. Great to hear you. Love chewing the rag with you, Tim, and I'll definitely catch you on another one. I think that's our third satellite for tonight, so 7-3, NZ, NC-02, W-0-2-Y-C, 7-3.